Okay, now if we had that property, so we bought it in, in our own personal name to start off with, okay? If we kept it in our own names and we paid 40% tax, okay, uh, we'd pay 121,000 pounds to the tax man. So we'd have 181,000 pounds left in our pockets to reinvest in the next deal. So because we incorporated, which is the last slide, don't worry about how we got there, just run with this, okay? <laughs> because we moved it into a limited company at some point, okay? The company pays 19% corporation tax, which gives you 500, okay, oh, 57, I don't think it works here, by the way. Gives you 57, 4, 5, 6 tax, so that means we've got 245,000 pounds to reinvest, yeah? So rather than 181 in our own name, it gives you 245 in the company, so an extra 60 grand there, okay? So, in it, yeah? I hope that kind of makes sense. I'm just running through this to raise your awareness. Don't worry about the numbers, where they came from. You only use those. This stuff works. Yeah, right? The capital allowances, how will they know what's been put in when it's all finished? They come around and they see cats underneath. Uh, yeah, so basically, what, what, what I would do is take for just keep evidence, keep our list. You know the list you saw uh, you keep earlier? All your invoices, then, you can't keep the invoices for the, for the purchase because there are no invoices. No. But for the new stuff, yes. Yeah. For the new stuff you would, yeah? Right. Okay.